Philippians 4, 8 and 9. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the God of peace shall be with you. Father, I need your intervention. Funny, there are TV shows that have addressed those living a destructive lifestyle of drugs, alcohol, etc. Sadly, we don't equate our everyday problem solving, dealing with offensive actions or words, manipulative motivations in ourselves as well as others, and just walking through the stuff as a destructive lifestyle. And yet, this is why everyone wants a puppy or a kitten. We long for something that just loves us, something with apparent undying devotion. We allow our minds to be consumed with the crud. Coupled with the media barrage of negativity, it becomes an unending battle to maintain a normal lifestyle. This is what my enemy tries to mask because it develops into a destructive lifestyle. Not one that is noticeable as the aforementioned, but one that will breed despair and bitterness. The orphan survivalist kicks in and abundant life is abandoned as a pipe dream. But God, oh, how I love those words. You show me in these words that Paul wrote so many years ago that I can, yes, I have the ability. It has even become my responsibility or perhaps a better way of saying it, you give me the ability to respond to your directions, directing my mind to dwell on those things that are true, Jesus, things that are honest, Jesus, things that are just, Jesus, things that are pure, Jesus, things that are lovely, Jesus, Things of good report, Jesus. Virtue, Jesus. Praise, Jesus. Is something I can do. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. People would say that we can see these things, true, honest, just, pure, in our world, and they are absolutely correct. I can see you in almost anything. Your words in Habakkuk tells us the knowledge of your glory will cover the earth as the waters of the seas. So today, I choose to see you and your glory in everything. When my eyes are open and when they are closed, I choose you.